everybody I'm going to talk about creating recesses in slabs in Plusbeck for SketchUp okay slabs are uh, important uh, to be able to recess so that we can have concrete on sloping blocks and we can add things called drop edge beams recesses uh, and so on into a slab uh, it saves us redrawing and messing around all the time so Plusbeck has a slab tool all I'm going to do here is just create a rectangle or I could just draw from scratch if I please okay I'm going to go to here and I'm going to go to my slab tool. Okay. I can either trace around this rectangle here, like this, and there's plenty of tutorials on creating a slab. Okay. And now I have a slab on my rectangle. I can delete that rectangle off the top. And now I want to go and start to add some recesses and things like this. So what I do is I use my select tool, which is spacebar, and I click on it until the slab goes blue. I now right click the slab, go slab, and I'm going to actually do several things. I can either edit the slab, which will go back and change the thickness and so on. I can add penetrations, which are for pipes, so I'll quickly add a penetration. I might add a penetration, say, uh, here's a 100 mil diameter with a 12 circle accuracy. If you're drawing a massive model, reduce the accuracy. And now I can add a penetration. You'll notice if you look at these, it also has a center point which can be used with the MEP tool that comes in Plusbeck. Okay, the next thing I want to do is start to add a few recesses. So I'm just going to get out of this, and my slab is still selected, so I can right click it again, slab, and I can go in here and I can go to my recess tool, add recess. Okay, and now I can select the depth of the recess I want to go. I'm going to use this one as 100 mil and show you how we would do a recess around a corner. Okay, simple, as Drew would say. Alright, now let's go around to the other side here and we might say well, we want to have a several step recess. So I'm going to change the thickness, the depth of my recess and go submit. And I might say well on this side here I want a 500 recess. Notice that it wants to snap there to the red. And over here I want a 400 recess. Usually these recesses should be working to brick increments or whatever your external cladding increment is. If there's a, It saves you cutting the bottom brick if the recess is incorrect. Okay, so I can do a recess like that. I can also add a recess in the middle of a slab. And here if I want to push shift, you'll notice that it's still not locking exactly. If I go outside of the slab and push shift now, you'll notice it's locked to that axis. It is also increasing the thickness of the slab underneath as well. I'm sure you can see that. Okay, and I might want to actually put a garage in here that lines up with the recess. So then I need to know the distance of the recess between here and here, 86 millimeters. Now, because I clicked outside of the slab, I need to reselect it, right click, slabs, recess tool, add recess, and I need to change the thickness of the recess to the same thickness as the step down on the slab and go submit. And now I can go in here and I can add a recess. If for instance you make a mistake like this and you want it to be on red axis, you can push delete and it'll go back and I can go back and redo a line. I can also go and click on, so if I go to here and go shift, I can click here or because I just want to click, uh, complete the loop, you'll notice in the bottom here it gives you some information. If I click enter, it will complete the loop for me. And now I have a level slab across there and I can have a garage to work with that. You can also move these recesses, so I'm going to close this down. If I go back to here and said right click, slab, recess tool, and I can either edit a recess or I can move a recess. So you notice that went yellow. I want to move this recess, I can go to here. I want to move this recess. I can type in a dimension of the distance I want the, the recess to move. So I might say I want it to move, say, this way. I can type in 600 and enter and now I move that recess 600 mil. It's really good if you're changing walls around and houses, it, it makes a big difference. Guys, I hope it helps. Uh, have a bit of a play with it and see how you go. Cheers.